Hey guys, it's your favorite auntie. So Kamora Lee Simmons seems to think that her daughter Aoki Lee Simmons was set up. I'm going to play the clip and um, I'm going to give some feedback of my thoughts about uh, what she had to say. Now, everything in this video is my opinion. It is all alleged and it is for entertainment purposes only. So let's get into what Kamora had to say to TMZ. So we're going to talk about AOK. She's so beautiful. But did you know that she had an older gentleman at the time? Or was it a surprise to you when you saw the pictures? That's a loaded question. I don't think she had in anything. I think that was just a... She's a young, pretty girl. And, you know, I think that we don't think that the toads that we may kiss is going to be, like, broadcasting the thing. And I personally feel a little bit like she was set up. Okay, so hold on. Let's back up for a second. Let's stop right here. So the question was asked to her, did you know she was dating an older man? She did not answer that question. It's a yes or no question. Did you know your daughter was dating this old guy? And her response was, oh, well, that's a loaded, qu loaded question. What's loaded about the question? Either you knew or you didn't know. And then she referred to the old sugar daddy as a toad that her daughter kissed. Kamora Lee Simmons. This was not a kiss. This was just not some random little smooch where she got caught kissing a boy in the school bathroom. No, th your daughter was bragging about this man. She, I did a prior video and you guys go back and see the prior video that I did where she made TikToks about this guy. Uh, she um, was excited about her old sugar daddy talking about the things that he was buying for her. He's got her on this trip to the same place that her parents got married at, um, bragging about his shoe size. If you know what I mean, this is not a kiss. You know, good and well, your daughter was that man. So she's trying to make light of it and she's trying to deflect and she's trying to put all the blame on the sugar daddy, which the sugar daddy does have some responsibility in it too because he's old enough to know what he's doing. But at the same time, her daughter's old enough to know what she's doing as well. She knows she's using him for what he can provide and the sugar daddy knows that he's getting what he's getting because he is providing what he's providing to her. And Kamora needs to stop that. Try, stop trying to play in people's faces and trying to make it seem like this old man took advantage of this sweet, innocent young girl because that's not the case. She was getting something from him and he was getting something from her. And that is why in my prior video, I referred to this as a paid escort because that's what it was. Now, Kamora can try to um, minimize it all she wants, but this was not just some little random interaction that got caught on camera. It was not that. This was a full-blown, and I don't want to say relationship, but it was a full-blown situationship in which he received benefits from Aoki and um, Aoki received monetary benefits from this man. Let's call that thing a thing. Then she proceeds to say that her daughter was set up. Okay, so I need to know the answer to that. Who set her up? So let's talk about this whole setup thing. First of all, Aoki is the one that made TikTok videos bragging about the fact that she had a man. Then she made videos about the fact that she was packing for her trip with her man and the things that he was buying for her for this trip. She also gave the location of where she was taking her trip. She also recorded his voice in the car um, as they're on their vacation. She basically told everybody where the hell she was. So who set her up? I feel like she set herself up because she was talking too much. So to insinuate that the old sugar daddy called reporters and told reporters to come and film him with her, in my opinion, is asinine. Now, you guys let me know if you feel differently about that, because what what is what motive would he have to want to have news people, um, bloggers, whatever you want to call them, paparazzi is the word I'm looking for, to come and take pictures of him with her? What does he get out of that? Um, so if anybody set anybody up, she Aoki set herself up when she ran her mouth and called herself bragging about all the things that her man was doing for her. And then she got caught when she um, when it was revealed that her man was old enough to be her grandpa. So continue on, Kamora. What else do you have to say about this? Which is why I try to teach the girls, what right? What do you mean by that? Well, there's definitely an age dynamic there. And I right. just feel like, nah. 
she, I feel like she was set up a little bit. Did you feel a little bit embarrassed by it or were you like, it is what it is, what were your thoughts? Probably both. I probably was a little bit embarrassed, but you know me, I'm definitely like, it is what it is, honey. Come on right, home, right, let's right. go. Mama's got your back. So did he dad coming. <laughs> so, so did dad or you up that have is a monthly not, allowance? That is non-existent, no. So no up and allowance? I do the allowance monthly? and no, it hasn't it been up. <laughs> So she said, no, I'm not um, uh, increasing her allowance. And um, I think she kind of didn't want to uh, fully disclose how embarrassed and disgusted she should have been about the fact that her daughter is dating um, this older gentleman. And if we want to call him a gentleman, just to be nice. Um, but I'm sure she probably was busted and disgusted. But then again, I don't know, because she dated Russell. But I'm sure she probably was like, well, even I didn't go that old. So she probably said that was just too old. Now, if you find somebody around your daddy age when um, I was dating him, then OK, maybe that age gap probably would work for her. But we know what this is. Aoki is looking for someone to take care of her. And so she's like, oh, you know, that uh, relationship is non-existent. And I still feel like, yeah, that's probably what she told her mom. But is she still secretly seeing this guy? I think so. Absolutely. And here's why I still think that she's seeing this guy. Because look what she posted on her Instagram. Look what Aoki said in response to what her mom said. Okay, so she posted this message that said, good girl conditioning sends a clear message. Don't be too much or want too much. It's why so many women tolerate misery. May we teach young girls to say no clearly and to disappoint people regularly. May we free her from the generational cycle of being polite and easy. What is she saying? In my opinion, what she's saying is, mom, leave me alone. I'm going to continue to date this man. Stop expecting me to be prim and proper and show up for you and everyone else as this sweet, polite girl. I want to be ratchet. I want to be taken care of. So leave me and my old man alone. That's my opinion about it. You guys let me know if you feel differently. But I think that's the clear message that she's sending to her mother um, that I'm not going to walk the straight and narrow. I'm going to do it my way. So until her mother or father can provide the lifestyle and the money to her that she was accustomed to growing up, we can expect to see this type of behavior from Aoki or unless she matures and realize that this paid escort behavior is not acceptable. You guys, let me know what you think. Drop it down in the comments. Please like, comment, and subscribe to the channel.